is the first week of November and I have done basically a whole month of Christmas prep now for Christmas markets and the lot. Um, so you will see basically a snippet of October making a bunch of stuff for my Christmas markets. I actually have three Christmas markets and I'm going to be putting my stuff in a little cafe nearby me as well. So I'm like full on making things like crazy at the moment. Everything was quite repetitive as well, uh, but that's fine. We're going to be spending the whole of November also making a bunch of stuff. Uh, but I wanted to give you a little check in and show you some of the stuff that we've been doing.
We've got some Kalmoji little candle holders. I think this guy at the back here is my favourite. And then I've got another little wraparound mug with some decorations on there. Um, gently move him. Some more of the bears. He's got a bit of staining, which is kind of annoying. And then this is probably my favourite fair mug shape so far. And then I've put a bunch of my stuff on, ready for glaze firing. And there's some more stuff up here as well. And then this is my bisque stuff ready to go in the bisque. We've got a lot of stuff in a lot of different stages, um, but that's good. I'm gonna have enough stuff for Christmas, which is what I want. Um, so hopefully it all goes well. And this bisque fire is on, I think, what are we at? 198, and that's got a couple of my mugs in as well. So yes, we're in full Christmas production. I'm waiting for the bus. Um, we're going to go and learn how to do, I'm going to push this, sashiko stitching, uh, which is like Japanese stitching embroidery. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little hour workshop and learn how to do that. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> Ignore the fact I'm wearing the same jumper. Look! Very cute. I'm very happy with that. 
probably won't do it again. Actually, well, I don't know. It's nice. If I can get... Um, I do my, like, thicker tote bags where I heat press my designs on. Um, it would look really cool if I, like, then did that around the designs or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go walk the dog. I've made my first candles and I've used like apple and cinnamon as the fragrance. Um, they look super cute. But this is basically a snippet of the candles. They smell really, really good. I'm going to cover them um, ready for the markets. So we've got seven apple and cinnamon candles and then I'm making some more vessels for a gingerbread latte one as well, which is super exciting. So yeah, I'm going to show you Bunch of stuff. So I was taking product photos, so they're just like sprawled across the bed and some stuff on the floor. But the first sort of design is this like wrap around cute little mug. We've got a couple of sausage dogs versions of that. Oh, that's not sausage dog. We've got a couple of sausage dog versions. This one's really cute. He's like super chunky. I like that guy a lot. Then I've also got some cat ones. Little black cat. And a little ginger cat. And then like my biggest make has been all these bears, which I really do love. This one's probably my favorite with the flowers all the way around. He's super cute. But yes, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bears. And some have sold already, so that's, yeah. We've also got some of this presents design, which I'm gonna make a couple more of. I've only got three, but I really like these. Then I've been making these like cat mugs. This is a little tabby cat with a hat star. They are also super cute. I've got these guys as well, which is a nice little like flower pattern. And this is one of my favorite designs, um, but this one came out a little bit weird with the glaze. Um, so I'm gonna make a couple more of these. This was a really nice test. Look how cute. You saw that one of the candles also has this design and I'm gonna do a couple more candles with this design because I think it's really cute. I've also done like this pet bowl, um, food bowl, however you want to use it, um, in the design as well. And lots of other miscellaneous things. I've done a lot of miscellaneous bits and bobs as well, which um, you'll see in some pictures and I'm going to be posting on Instagram and stuff. I'm not going to put anything online just yet. I'm going to wait um, until I have a bunch of stuff, uh, maybe into December. Um, because I do want to just have stuff for the markets. So yeah, that's our end of October check-in and I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be the first market, um, which is on the 1st of December, which is super exciting. Um, so I'll show you all the finished items and a bit of the um, market. Exciting, so yeah.